Morning, Sign Community. It's Pastor Andy coming to you live once again from my office here at Sion Lutheran Church located in Lancaster, Minnesota. And what a brisk morning it is. Uh, we survived the wind storms last night, yesterday afternoon. The parking lot is almost impassable, and here I am. We're doing, we're doing the things. We are at uh, Wednesday, which means it's a busy day. We have coffee at senior housing. I'm helping at the local school um, today, and then we have confirmation and just all the things are happening today. And it's cold outside, which makes things just a little bit harder. It's just a little bit harder to get excited when it's really cold out. You just want to stay bundled up and warm in your cozy bed or in your love seat or your recliner. Excuse me. It's making me tired just thinking about it. But nonetheless, here we are doing work. And I was I was thinking about that today. The the way that we often, for lack of better phrasing, give up on things. We we're not very persistent when it comes to facing down challenges, when it comes to things not going our way, the tendency is to change direction or stop progress or, you know, any anything related to that sort of action where we stop. And <laughs> a little a little confession, I watched some really weird shows on uh, various streaming networks and I found another one yesterday that is it's called the mystery of blind frog ranch which is a not a spin-off but like a tangent show to the mystery of skinwalker ranch which is in the vein of like the curse of oak island or you know any of those like treasure hunter shows with uh mysterious happenings aliens ufos extra you know mythologies and whatnot but these people are so persistent they're they just they have the notion that there is something in the ground there is a mystery to be solved and no matter what is thrown at them they keep going they they risk life and limb for the thrill of the hunt if you will for the solving the mystery of whatever it is they're looking at Yes, it takes a lot of money and years and probably a lot of people thinking you're crazy. But that's what they do. Like, they're driven to this. And I was like, thinking about this morning as the drive to the office, like, what would it be like if we, as followers of Christ, operated like those folks? Like the people digging for gold and encountering all kinds of mysterious activities or or whatever. Like in the face of any challenge, what would it be like if we just kept going? That we took the risk, we forged a path, we, you know, whatever. You name it. Use your metaphors here, folks. But I think it would produce a very different world, which is what we talk about a lot, or I talk about it anyway is changing the world. It's like, we can't do that if we quit. We can't do that if we sit back and become bystanders in the world around us. We have to actively engage the powers that be. We have to speak truth to power in love. But it all it's all nouns. It's all action or verbs. I mean, not nouns. We are nouns. We need more verbs. We need more action. And I hesitate to say, but maybe it's okay for people to think we're crazy. That if we're living full-heartedly into the proclamation and promises of Jesus Christ, we might look a little crazy. But the question is, are you willing 
to risk that? Are you willing to look crazy in the eyes of quote unquote polite society for the sake of the gospel? And that's what we all need to ask ourselves. Are we, are we crazy for the gospel? Or are we passive bystanders waiting for somebody else to do the work for us? And I don't know. I'm pondering it. I invite you to ponder it. And as we ponder this together, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for another opportunity to live in your presence, to experience your love and compassion and drive. Be with us as we discern where we land on the spectrum from passive bystander to crazy for Jesus and all that might entail. Show us a path forward that might pull us out of our comfort zone into the world so we can make it a better place for everybody, ourselves included. Strengthen us, guide us, protect us, and please send warmer weather. I know it's northern Minnesota, but still, we could use a break. And so could the rest of the world. Provide for them like you promised you would. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing, and sometimes the spreading of that blessing might make you look a little crazy. But that's okay. Because Jesus looked a little crazy too. And if he's our role model, then it's gotta be right. Right? I don't know. We can talk about that. But with that being said, until next time, I will see you when I see you.